Hey guys, today we're gonna make Pokey his captain hat. <gasps> Mr. Box. Mr. Box doesn't wanna be here. <sighs> uh, we started this off late because right before I was about to start filming this, Pokey made a mess. <laughs> Captain Pokes. Oh yeah, you made a mess. Also, we realized that his boat bed is a little bit messy, so we're washing that now, and that will appear later. But for now, I'm gonna try to make Pokey a Captain hat, like one of these. I got all my super cheap felt materials, and I got glue sticks. Gotta go back and get my needle thread. Let's go. All right, I got some needle and thread. So, when I'm making him his hat, I wanna make sure, Hako! <laughs> so when I'm making him his hat, I wanna make sure that it doesn't bother his ears, which means that either I have to make a super tiny hat that fits in between his ears, or I make a big hat with holes for his ears to stick out of. And I think that's prob, Hako! <laughs> Hako, I need those. <laughs> That's fine, whatever. Um, so I think I'm gonna try to make a big hat, maybe with like the black band around the outside and then the white part will just have cutouts for the ears perhaps. Of course, because there were sticks here. You can have that one. <laughs> if that makes you happy, buddy. Maybe I should start with the black band and like try to measure it around his head and then go from there. I think that might work. I think we might have a scissors. Mm -hmm. A pair of scissors for cutting cloth. So I'll go look. A pair of scissors for cutting cloth. Okay. Thank you. That should do better. Thanks. Oh. 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 It's fine time. Start this part. I have this very thin kind of cardboardy material to give it shape. So I was gonna put that in the middle of it, meaning I need to fold the fabric up over. So how do you like the scissors I gave you? Uh, this works much better. Thank right? you. That's for cloth. This is significantly easier. So oh, how right. I'm gonna do this part? I have a question. Hi. I always get confused. Hi. I can't call it it right they were underneath your they were underneath the blue scissors uh a pair of scissors is it i can scissors, call scissors it you can call a pair of scissors it these no. scissors were underneath those blue scissors yes <laughs> where'd my pokey go it's a I singular it. product i gotta measure his head he's right here Mr. Box, I need your head. Hey, don't bend my cardboard thingy. I need it. I require your head. Boop, boop, boop. Good boy. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> hey, head. I'm so sorry. This is uncomfortable for you. Okay, maybe like. Maybe like overlapping this much, maybe. Thank you, Pokey. You can sit in your little spot if you want. Um, but I don't want to use brown glue, so I'm gonna have to wait for this to heat up just a little bit. My hot glue gun tip is that I never leave it plugged in because it just keeps getting hotter and hotter and hotter and then eventually it becomes scar-inducing level hot. So I 
only leave it plugged in for a very short period of time, just long enough for it to get hot enough to melt, and then I unplug it. And then I just keep plugging it back in or unplugging it as I go along. When it's at its hottest, it is not fun getting burnt by a hot glue gun. It's very painful. It sticks to your fingers. Okay. I think hot glue is gonna be so much quicker than trying to hand sew all this. So we're definitely gonna hot glue gun Polky's hat. <laughs> this is gonna be a very inexact process. Da, 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 da. Maybe it can work. He's at least calm. Oh, you're being such a good boy. You are being such a good boy right now. Cabin hats have a visor that angles down, but that's gonna be really, really annoying for Pokey. So I'm thinking I might try to make it angle up a little bit instead, because it's gotta stay away from his whiskers oh, and out of his eyes. From what it looks like for a cabin hat, uh, it's just like a little bit wider than the base. So I can just use this here and then just cut a circle around it. Okay, since I don't want this to be too heavy, I'm not gonna do cardboard for the whole top of the hat. I think I'm just gonna do like one in each direction to keep it facing out. That looks good. Hot glue gun time. So uh, I went ahead and just put in some random stitches here to help me kind of shape out the circular form of the top of the hat because I felt like it would be <laughs> this is a little permanent using the glue gun and I think it's a, it's a little bit hard to fold this so that it looks very circular. Circular as pokey. <laughs> pokey circle. The other thing is especially when this is on a dark background the felt is pretty thin so you can see through it so instead of using the heavier cardboard. Um, I have some printer paper that I'm going to try and just cut a circle and then put it above the on top of this. I know it doesn't look like much yet, <laughs> but I think it'll be a navy hat when it's done. You can be a cabin. Remember how you used to like cut out circles in elementary school? You started with a square and then you just rounded off all of the edges really, really poorly. That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Don't ever let it be said that I didn't learn anything in school. There you go. Oh, no. Well, it's a little more opaque, but at least now when it's on like a dark background, you can't see the, the thing, right? I like the color contrast. It looks just like pokey. Black and white. <laughs> so I changed my mind multiple times. <laughs> trying to sew it didn't work so i tried to hot glue it and that still is not working out super great it's still got the little bumpy thing so i think um i'm just going to maybe cut slits up to the point where the circle should be so that everything can fold nicely without having to fold it on top of itself which is making these little bumps today i learned i'm a person of many ideas and a few plans. I'm gonna glue these down. I think that headband makes him like really, I don't know. <laughs> He's super calm and chill about it. Tell me how this looks. Does this look like, use your imagination. <laughs> Does this yeah. look like it'll be a cap and hat? Yeah, I can easily imagine. You can stick your ears up, right? <laughs> He's like, yeah, I guess. He looks like a cock. A what? Wait, cook? Chef? <laughs> okay. Sorry. Sorry, this is Japanese. Okay, this is too... First of all, this is too wide, and I think it may be a little bit too tall. Thank you. <laughs> He's getting white fur all over my black felt. You're so fluffy, baby. All right, look at this. Look at, look at, it's kind of working. Mr. Mr. Fox. Boogie. Mr. Fox. What do you think? Yeah, you did a good job. Do you see? Um, I mean, let's be honest. There's a lot of room for improvement here. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Go ahead. Just take it. I already tied a knot in it and I threaded my needle, but it's fine. You can have it. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you see how he's grabbing it with his paws? It's <laughs> so cute. Kind of looks a little bit like a chef hat right now. But in the end, in the end, it's gonna be a captain hat. Dude, it's 7 p.m. How long have I been working on this so far? A uh, few hours. You've been doing great, honey. There are a lot. <laughs> There are a lot of ways this could have gone better. I think I'm at a stage where I'm starting to regret my life decisions. It still looks like a chef hat. I mean, it can look like one, but it still looks like a sailor hat too. Four or five hours. And this is what I've done. <laughs> so next what I need to do is make an insignia for the front here. But I realized that looking at my Google Images, Captain Hat, search results, that these are almost entirely costume hats. And now I realize I don't know what a real Captain Hat looks like or if a Captain Hat is really even a thing. What Captain? Where's this type of a Captain Hat? Is this like, like a, would a cruise ship Captain, do they have captains on cruise ships? Is this like a navy captain hat? Because I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I never learned navy ranks or uniforms when I was in the Air Force. I just saluted every navy person I walked past on base just in case. <laughs> Looking back, it would have been really easy to just learn their ranks and uniforms, but I didn't. It's gonna go with whatever looks good. All right. That look like a good size. My hat looks like a cartoon. Mm -hmm. This doesn't even look like a cabin hat. I spent five hours on this so far. I think it's fine. <laughs> He's face smushing into the couch. Yeah, I don't see his face. Okay, so this is the insignia that I made. It looked better before I got the hot glue gun involved. Turns out the hot glue gun is not very good for fine detailed work. I tried to use a toothpick, it still got a little messy in the end. Um, but, I, I, it looks awesome, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, but I think I'm gonna put it like this. Here, on the hat. Does this feel like it's too far forward now? Great job. This is gonna sit up on its head like this, I guess. Um, the hat looks really, really good. Really? High quality. Yeah, I'm really impressed, especially this part. How do you call it? The insignia? Is it already attached or can I take it? Yeah, you can touch it. Yeah. Well. Wow. I haven't glued it on. It's not. I feel like it's still going to take a few hours at least, so I would call it a day. Yeah, I think it'll probably still take me a long time. Time. Calling it a day. Time. Oh, Pokey just joined Nagi. Pokey, are you joining Nagi? Pokey's been really cuddly recently. Aww, Pokey, you kicking my ass. Pokey, how'd you like your hat? It's day two of Pokey's cap and hat. Get in there, buddy. And I hate it. I want to start over. It definitely is not supposed to go out like this. It makes no sense going super forward like this. Well. That's okay. Not what a captain has supposed to look like. Sure. Goodbye. <laughs> eight hours of work from yesterday. And we will jump to another eight hours. This time, I'm doing things a little less tekito. I, <laughs> I trace some plates and bowls for the circular outlines. I'm figuring out what the shape should be before I start cutting. Turns out, planning things is important. So this was my first prototype. This is prototype two, which is much better. It looks much more like uh, a cat and hat. I finally got, I got the back to like lean over the edge and be a little floppy like this, which is, oh, I'm showing you the weird side, okay. Which is how it is in all of the photos. This one, I made everything too rigid and then the front stuck forward way too far. So the front of this one is much less at an angle. I feel like I've learned a lot about hat making Perhaps I'll be a hat maker one day. Put that on your head. Oh, yes. Like, that even looks nice on you. 
<laughs> still have to do the bill and everything. I don't think any normal person would put this much time into something that you're gonna see for like maybe a minute in a YouTube video. At the end of this video, when I put Pokey on his boat, put on his little hat, and then he goes for a sail. <laughs> it's starting to come together. I got a bill. A B I L L? Mm -hmm. like, like someone's a duck name? Bill. How's it going, Kim? <laughs> Do you like it? Do you like your hat? Oh my god, you're so cute. <laughs> it's 11 30 on day two of this. Three days later. Just kidding. Still the same night. Now it's only 11 35. <laughs> Bookie's asleep in his basket. So how's it going? I think the braid is looking pretty nice. It looks nice. For felt? Yeah, mm. it's not bad. Although I just realized this is a different gold from this. Oh well. No one cares except Rachel you. Rachel cares. <laughs> so hopefully we'll see that hat completed tomorrow. Tomorrow, I hope. I mean, I'm going to keep working on it, but June's going to bed, so... Um, yeah, I want to be done with the hat so that tomorrow I can just do the backdrop stuff. Hi guys, it's day three of Make It Bulky at Camp Hat. Yeah, Bulky, yeah, buddy. Not consecutively. We took a day off yesterday after I worked one eight-hour day on a hat and then a ten-hour day <laughs> on making a captain hat for my cat. This is where I ended up the day before last. The bill is a little bit off-center and I realize that and it bothers me but this is where I draw the line for restarting things. The hat is finished except for I need to put the circle in the top to hide all of the little flaps. And then I need to make a smaller felt band in the middle so it fits on Pokey's head better. <gasps> Mr. Pokes, Mr. Pokes, do you want to show people your hat? Otherwise, he looks like a captain. It's just a little bit too big. I'm sorry, Pokey, I made your hat too big, but you're very important, so you deserve to have a really big hat. Total side topic, but last night, I don't know why, but for some reason, I just remembered that the movie We're Back exists. I don't know how many of you would remember that. I think it came out in the early 90s. It was a movie with time-traveling dinosaurs, and they were supposed to, like, grant little kids wishes, and there were two little kids, and they, like, signed a blood contract with the circus, and it was horrifying, and I have some terrifying memories of that movie as a kid, but I watched it so many times. Just wondering if anyone else remembers this. I guess Nagi wants to play. Oh. Nagi, he, he's trying to reclaim his position on the ring light bag. <laughs> Nagi got this place in Pokey's happily sleeping on the bed. All the cats somehow like this black case. Anything the bag. on the ground that we put down <laughs> is a cat bed. <laughs> You're so cute. This is just the newest of all his many cat beds. <laughs> so I used my circle pattern from the hat and I was gonna draw on this but the pencil just like went into it so I just scratched out some, some wave shapes relatively even-ish. Why is this part so much harder than I thought it was gonna be? <sighs> Super messy, but oh well. I did the thing on the inside so that you can't see most of the um, flaps anymore. And then I sewed in a slightly shorter band so it fits a little bit more snugly on his head. The cutouts on the side are a little large for his ears, but at least It'll be more comfortable for him because he'll be able to hear a little bit better without the sound being, you know, crazy. I think I can just, you know, mm. go like that. Yeah, and it sits above his eyebrow whiskers, so... No, 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 underneath his chin. No, no, no. As soon as I see this thing hanging down like this, it looks like a marching band hat to me. I told him he's not allowed to walk on my <laughs> foam backdrop and he's being rebellious. Haku, <laughs> he's pretending he doesn't hear me. Haku, you beat a butt. Pokey? Are you, are you angry? Because it's still 15 minutes until dinner time and you can't eat yet? 
Okay, so I finished the backdrop and then I put the rest of the blue foam underneath the boat and then I finished the waves and I put it on a stick. But Pokey got really angry that he couldn't eat dinner yet and so he tried to eat the wave. It's looking good. Yeah. I'm making my fishy. Well, Pokey's fishy. Uh, I just realized I should have put the string through before I sewed this area. Oh, oh, maybe I can do it this way. I just like tie this really tight, wrap it around here, and then just shove it through. Yeah. Oh, it did work. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm gonna stuff some of this before I continue sewing it shut. I think it's nice to be fluffing up. It's cute. It's gonna hang like this when it's done. But the tail will be stuffed too, so hopefully it hangs evenly. And then, I'm gonna attach it to a stick so Pokey can hunt for it. <laughs> I should have made it wider. I wasn't thinking about the width of the camera screen. Oh no. Okay, so this is not gonna work because it's just you have to get up too close to the boat to have only this as the backdrop. And so June helped me come up with a solution since we have blue curtains. Hago! Why is everyone eating my way? <laughs> so, everything is done. Except Pokey's hat, he's falling off. Turns out cats just don't like wearing regular types of hats. So I'm gonna make him a marching band cat. I got another strip that I'm gonna put around the bottom real quick. Um, move it that way a little more. That's so cute. Come Pecky. Hakuto Nemo. <laughs> 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 Hakuto Nemo. Yo, man, such an aggressive Nemo. Captain, stop this aggressive Nemo now. Captain, you lost your hat. Captain, you lost your hat. Oh no. Dangerous waters, Captain. <laughs> Penguins don't associate with sharks. <laughs> okay, okay. Poor Nagi. Poor Nagi. It's too nice to be an apex predator. Okay. This would make more sense. Here you go. <laughs> the captain has abandoned ship. Oh. Ah. Got the fish. Ah. <laughs> and you got the wave. The captain keeps abandoning ship, so I'm gonna promote you to captain.
<laughs> oh, he doesn't even need his fishing pole. Hey, hey, be alert, alert. <laughs> Well, I would say moderate success. Because <laughs> they had fun. Haku had a blast. Where'd he go? Mm -hmm. Oh, very dashing. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed your adventures. And you. And Haku, wherever he went. Haku, I hope you enjoyed your adventures. Fishing and sharking. Good job, guys. Good job, team. High five. Yeah.